I did mention that Bennu is a C-type asteroid. It's very similar to like carbonaceous chondrites that we have. We thought maybe it would have a lot of organic carbon. It turns out it does from a recent paper. Mm -hmm. And we've also discovered salts and then you know, just exploring the geology of the materials we brought back. Can you walk us through what the results so far are telling us about the early solar system? Yeah, so we got the sample, but we've got about 120 grams back. So this makes it the biggest sample return uh, mission that NASA has had since Apollo. So it's a really kind of important collection of samples. And what we found saw straight away was that it's full of water. So the main mineral in there is a clay mineral that traps water in its uh, structure. So it's hosting loads of water. It also has a huge amount of carbon, it has several percent carbon in it. And it's full, as you said, of organic molecules. So not biological molecules, but organic molecules that may have been kind of in important as an ingredient for life. So our colleagues working uh, on the organic side of things have found an incredible array of organic molecules, including amino acids and nuclear bases. And then my colleagues, I work on the mineralogy side. So we found all of these salts, we found phosphates, and these are all really important ingredients of life and also important uh, catalysts to produce new organic reactions. So we're so, so super excited and we've got, we feel like we really lucked out. We found this fantastic asteroid that's full of surprises. And also the fantastic thing about having the sample now on Earth is we're really only beginning our analysis of it. But now this rock is going to be around for centuries to come for our children and their children to be able to analyze, to think of their own scientific questions that they want answered using techniques that we haven't invented yet. So yeah, this sort of mission is really a gift that keeps on giving. I love that view for the future of, of you know, we now have these samples for many years to come. I recall in graduate school, my one office mate, she had some rocks from Apollo that had never been analyzed mm -hmm. before. And she, and she was right. analyzing them in the laboratory and learning more, you know, many, many years after they were collected. And so I think that's beautiful to think about, you know, people watching right now, maybe we have a high school student or a young person watching right now who in the not too distant future might want to be a scientist and work on those samples.